It's a good day. For this video, we're going to discuss the one of the most important topic to understand basic calculus, that is the limit of a function. So let's start with the definition of limit. Let f of x be a function of x and a be a constant. If we can make the value of f of x close to l but not equal to l, by choosing a value of x which is close to a but not equal to a, then we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches a is l. Now, to understand it better, let's have this illustration. This definition only says that if we choose a number close to a but not equal to a, let's say we have this one, then the function will give us a number or a value which is close to L but not equal to L. And if we choose another number which is closer to A, then the function will give us another value which is closer to L than the previous one. So that is the general idea of the limit of a function. Suppose we have the function f of x equals to x squared plus 3x minus 18 over x minus 3. We know that this function is undefined at x equals to 3. Because if we're going to evaluate this function at x equal to 3, it will become 0 over 0. That is undefined. But let's see what happened to the function as x approaches 3. So let's try to assign some values of x from the left side and from the right side of the uh, of 3. So for the left side, let's use 2.5, 2.9, 2.99, 2.999. Now, as you can see, the value of x getting closer and closer to 3 but not equal to 3 because we're trying to uh, check what happened to the function as x approaches 3. Then let us evaluate the function by this given value of x. So you can use your calculator. If we have x equals to 2.5, what will be the value of this function? That is, okay, that is 8.5. If we have 2.9, that is 8.9. If we have 2.99, that is 8.99. Then for 2.999, we have 8.999. If you notice, as x approaches 3, the value of the function getting closer and closer to 9. Okay. How about from the right side of 3. So let us use um, 3.5, 3.1, and 3.001. Again, use your calculator to evaluate these values of x. So let's try. So if we have 3.5, the value of f of x is 9.5, right? If we have 3.1, that is 9.1. If we have 3.01, we have f of x equals to 9.01. And, and if we have 3.001, we have 9.001. So, again, as you can see, as x approaches 3 from the right side, the value of the function still getting closer and closer to 9. Therefore, we can say that the limit of the function x squared plus 3x minus 18 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 is 9.